I'm calling the Merit System Commission to order. It is March 7th, 11 a.m. May I have a roll? Mr. Kempe? Here. Mr. Rodehaber? Here. Mrs. Wasey? Here. And if you'd list our guest. Um, did everyone get a chance to read the minutes from February 1st? They did? Yes. Any changes or additions? I have none. None. Thank you. Okay. First item of business, certify and release entry level police officer list. Chief, any comments on how the process went or you're in the dark as we are? In the, I am in the dark. Okay. I, I, believe, uh, I believe there were less than 10. Yeah, there's eight names. There was, uh, I believe, there was an issue with one of one of them didn't have their application in completely or in at all. Uh, Correct. They took the test, but they did not complete a city application. The that's, the that's the one in green on your. We we he I believe he took the test recently on NTN, and uh, there there's lots of moving parts. If we wanted to include him, we would give him the benefit of the doubt and, and let him do the app. And include him. He his score was shopped to us for this test after our application opened. So I'm sure I'm sure it was intentional. Some of the ones that like shopped their scores to us that took a test six months ago, eight months ago, ten months ago, um, they just keep reappearing on our list because uh, uh, that's how NTN works. This this one candidate though looks like they took the test for us and just something happened to their application. So. If we want to expand our pool by one person, we could include that person. If not, that would be your choice. Any comments? From would you like a motion to release? Well, we've got to decide if we include um, <coughs> Justin Chabeck. He did not fill out an application. We, we you got to fill out an application. <laughs> well, basically, well, all she has to do is fill out an application yeah. for the city. What it is is NTM, when they take the test, they can ask that their scores be shopped right. to anybody who's hiring. Yeah. And it's automatic. Right. Uh, he just didn't fill out an application. I guess we could go ahead and ask him to fill out an application. I mean, obviously, you're not going to interview him until he has his application. Right. Okay. I don't, I don't have a problem keeping him on the list. Okay. Then we'll need a motion to release nine names. I move we release the nine names on the entry level police officer list. Second. And a roll, please. Mr. Kempe? Yes. Mr. Rodehaber? Yes. Mrs. Wasey? Yes. Um, advertisement for police sergeant. We've, we've had one of our sergeants uh, request to go back to being a patrolman. He, uh, the supervision life wasn't for him. Uh, by, by contract, he's allowed to do that. Uh, but that leaves us with a, another sergeant vacancy. So we would need a, a process. Do we have eligible men? We do, we do have eligible people. Uh, the, the, the process that just wrapped up, though, we only had one person sign up. So there's a potential that no one would sign up for this one, and we would then uh, invoke the, like a lateral entry uh, process for, for the police sergeant. Okay. If, if that were to happen, if no one were to sign up, apply. Well, um, this has not been released to the department. No, ma'am. Well, I make a motion to release. Is, um, I'm sorry, okay. before you make the motion, uh, is everything, Chief, is everything in here correct that you, you've you read? I believe it's an exact duplicate of the last one, which was perfect. Uh, we just changed the dates. So we'll give them about three weeks to study, and, and then a test date was uh, just before the, merit, the next Merit Service Commission meeting. Okay. Right. If we just have one, we don't even have to have a test. 
Right, correct. But regardless, you would have to certify the test. For, if there were more than one, you'd still have to certify the results, and then we would go, go on with steps B and C. If there's only one or there's none, then we would, we would deal with that at the meeting. In order to give us the amount of time to have the um, test or the testing process open tomorrow, and to have the amount of time we were hoping to have the April MSC meeting a week later. Um, normally, it would be on April um, April fourth. Um, if we advertise tomorrow, that would give us the three week and enough time to get the scoring in. Um, have the to have the scoring ready for the election. All right. Uh, I'm good with it. The day is open. And I will go ahead and make the motion to accept the, <coughs> excuse me, police sergeant promotional advertisement to be released, uh, opening March 8th and closing on April 1st, 2024. I will second that motion. And a vote, please. Mr. Rhoda Haber. Yes. Mr. Kempe. Yes. Mrs. Lacey. Yes. And I'm sorry. I just wanted to clarify that also. Okay. Yeah. Five days. That's why. That's why the meeting. Okay. Any other news, Chief? I don't think so. Uh, Sergeant Lasher was sworn in at the council meeting. He's very excited. He's hit the ground running. Uh, he's he he was already slated to to uh, fill some big shoes with some other retirements that that we have or had have coming up, and uh, he's he's going to be busy. But he's excited and uh, promotional process worked out great for him. So. Okay. The, um, the only thing, I think I still have the, the ch rule change. So uh, if the rule change for from 35 to 50 passed through city council and it's, it's just up, up for you to consider now, so. Well, I know we have to have two readings. Correct. So we would read it today can do it today and you can choose to do it next Thursday or it has to be at least seven days okay I knew it had to have time and it's on pages 22 is the strike through and page 47 is the conversion the uh, only the one nope. spot yep the uh, the law director thought the way the ORC was worded that there needed to be an age listed a number it just couldn't be open-ended she felt better if it had a, a an age listed so uh, we made it 50. i think that covers anything that we would potentially foresee anyways so i'm i'm good with that what page number did you say 22 it's at the very top yeah page 22 right. is the strike through version and page 47 is the clean version Okay, and this is 47. Very top of page 47. Okay. So we are strictly looking at Rule 16, Section 1, I, I. 1A, 1A2? Yeah. Yep. Section 1, subsection A. Section two. Okay, you you have the rule number in that. I'll just go ahead and read it. You want me to read it? I'll read it. Okay. The applicant must be the age of 21 at the time of appointment, but cannot be older than 50 years of age at the time of the original appointment. Reading number one. Next question, do we want to stop here next week and read it a second time, or can it wait until next month? I'm willing to make a trip in next week if sure. that will expedite and keep us from delaying. Yes, I concur. Okay, and that would be the 14th.
Oh, I'll make the motion. Thank you. Second. And a roll, please. Mr. Wasey? Yes. Mr. Rhoda Haver? Yes. Mr. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other business? Meeting adjourned at 11.11. Thank you. You're welcome.